Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look at the best grow light for a two foot by two foot or a 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grow area. I've got a list of 13 lights to show you, which I have ordered by value in terms of the best power output or kind of yield potential per dollar. Um, of all these lights. It's not the only criteria, obviously, to assess a grow light by, um, but I think it's a good one to give you a, a common uh, way of measuring them um, and assessing them, which is objective. The way I've done it is I have tested each of these grow lights at their optimum height, as in the optimum height for that specific grow light as recommended by the manufacturer, um, in a two foot by two foot area, and measured the amount of light reaching the plant canopy, therefore the effective output of the system. Uh, divide that by the wattage to get its efficiency. Also then calculate based on using um, that same light to fill a one meter squared area and this is a standardization i've done for all the grow light comparisons by the way i've got ones for three by three four by two uh, and there will be four by fours and five by fives and it gives you a way of comparing them all uh, with at least one criteria which is as i said this um this cost of owning a grow light over three years so calculate the total, the amount of grow light and the amount of electricity required to deliver 750 micromoles over a three year period. It's based on electricity costs on an average running of 14 hours per day and 17 cent per kilowatt hour, which is now looking a little bit low, but um, it only just sort of will demonstrate that the higher the energy costs, the more um, sensible it is to go for a higher efficiency grow light. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one on the list, the lowest on the list in terms of value, is a surprise to me actually. It's the Spider Farmer SF1000. And the more I look at them, I look at them, the more surprised I are about their pricing. It's one of the most um, expensive lights in terms of dollar per watt and one of the lower ones in terms of efficiency. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with Spider Farmer. They're the sister company. These are pretty basic grow lights, so it's not as if there's lots of other features and functions that are justifying that, um, that pricing. So I suppose objectively, it's a good reason for this list. It, it demonstrates that uh, um, you know value for money isn't always obvious. Uh, next one, Viper Spectra XS1500, uh, a reasonably good light, um, outshone by the P1000, which I think is um, far superior, but it is a 150 watt light and delivers quite a high total usable PPF output of 277, one of the highest there on the list. So it gives good output, the efficiency isn't great and therefore the running cost is uh, much higher than the other lights on this list. Um, but well built and a uh, nice, um, nice form, lots of features. Um, Best of Pro 1000, nice light, cheap light, uh, 93 cent per um, watt. So very cheap, low efficiency though, hence it being in the lower part of this list. So yeah, it has the highest electricity cost per, uh, for that three year calculation. Nice light though. Uh, well built and um, looks very nice too. Nice looker. Next, an in interesting one, AC Infinity. Um, these are just out now, I think. Uh, the Ion Grid T22. Uh, Mid-sized in terms of the wattage, 136 watts. Good value for money, $139, so a dollar per watt. But not the highest efficiency, fairly low. In fact, is that the second, third lowest? In, in the lower end in any case, and therefore high electricity costs, which leaves it a little bit lower. But a nice light, nice features, um, lovely looking, good spread, um, and it's got all that connectivity up to the other AC Infinity gear, 
which if you want to go for a little uh, two by two package could be the way to go and I uh, really like it anyway myself. Atrium lighting, big fan of Atrium. They came out with very high efficiency lights early on in the day, uh, LED bar type lights. And this Hydra 1000 is a gorgeous little light. Um, 116 watts, good value for money, 149 for the quality of build and the functionality of it. It's got a lovely little dimmer station on it um, and uh, daisy chain capability and all of that. Really good efficiency, 2.08 micromoles per watt. And uh, yeah, puts it right there mid table. Viper Spectre P1000, uh, personal favorite of mine. It's uh, just got really nice build quality, um, exceptionally good value for money. Um, it, uh, you know, if you wanna go for real budget light now, it's only 101 watts and it doesn't output a huge amount of power. In fact, if you're down a little bit smaller, maybe 1.5 by 1.5, this could be the one for you. Um, I'd highly recommend it for that space, but because of the efficiency, again, it's sitting mid-table, even though it's got a low price. Um, so really nice looking, but not the highest uh, performance um, light and a bit underpowered, I think. Next one, Mars Hydro TS-1000. Don't know why they call it the 1000. It's 146 watts, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it was very good value for money. Um, 92 cent per watt. Uh, basic build quality, but has all the features and functions, protected LEDs, um, dimmable, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, reasonable efficiency, 1.96 micromoles per watt. The highest output here, nearly the highest output here in terms of micromoles, good output, and uh, yeah, firmly mid-table. Growelt G1500, nice little light. The big thing about this one is you've got the two switches for UV and IR. And this is where the table maybe isn't totally fair on all these lights because this one doesn't count the UVA and uh, far red, which um, are not in the power spectrum and all these are just measuring power. So output usable PPF, PPF per watt 2.04. Um, which is a good efficiency given, as I said, that a bit of its power is diverted to um, uh, UV and uh, IR. High total usable PPF, 290, and uh, yeah, right up there, nice light. Maxisun MF1000, um, definitely one of my favorites. Only 100 watts, but decent efficiency, 2.0. Decent price, 99 cent per watt, decent efficiency. Very good build quality, uh, remote control dimming on board, and um, yeah, nice light. Links below, by the way, to a lot of these lights if you want to uh, if you want to pick one up. Marigo model, the Array 2 Plus Red, um, 120 watts, uh, $170, um, so $1.4 per watt. So it's up in the higher end for pricing, but also higher end for efficiency and higher up in the high end for my PPF output. So you're getting a high, you're really maximizing the use of that space, it means you're getting up around the 750 micromoles average in your, um, in your two by two. Next one, our own Migro Array 2. This is the Pro model, a little bit more expensive and upfront. Um, certainly expensive to purchase in terms of purchase price, $1.64 uh, dollars per watt, but highest efficiency and um, therefore uh, relatively low, well, the highest efficiency on the table. So low in terms of uh, the electricity cost, which uh, gives you all around good value. So it's a little case of paying up front and uh, you'll get it back over time. Next is the Senelux SE1000. Um, I double checked this, seems to be only UK based. Um, so the price is exceptionally good. That is a converted price from sterling to US dollars is taking off the sterling tax to make it comparable. Um, low, relatively low watts, 103, pretty good efficiency, 1.99. Um, but exceptionally good in terms of dollars per watt and a really nice light too. 
nice looking light, um, nice features, nice finish. Um, and uh, yeah, low in terms of dollars per, um, per power output. So overall, lots and lots of excellent lights to choose from. We're gone from the, uh, the days of the little um, fanny blurple boxes that would drive everybody crazy. We've got some really super looking lights here. Nice performance. You look at the performance range, they're all sort of within 20% within of each other, which you know, means they're really pushing up into the, uh, the more um, high efficiency, high performance category, um, particularly the, um, the Chinese manufacturers. So, oh, hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to the uh, inevitable mistake that I've made somewhere along the way that you guys will find out, which uh, <laughs> is always uh, slightly nerve wracking. But, um, I just hope it's not too big and I can correct it with a note or it's not fatal um, that I have to take the video down. Anyway, I checked this pretty thoroughly, so hopefully you won't find anything. And uh, yeah, but looking forward to the comments. Please keep me honest. I do enjoy it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's good fun. And um, yeah, until the next one, take care.